the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 257, Ezekiel 42-43 God enters through the East Gate. The pattern of the new temple and the system of sacrifice contained the strong will of God who said that he would set up Israel again as a kingdom of a priestess. First point, God gave Moses the plans for the tabernacle in the desert and as Kiel, the plans for the restored Jerusalem temple in Babylon. God, who gave Moses the design of the ark, now gave Ezekiel in Babylon the vision of the restored Jerusalem temple. God showed the rooms of the priestess through his angel. This holy room was described in Ezekiel chapter 40. There was a dedicated room for the priestess to protect the altars, and also a separate room for the priestess who took care of the temple. Among these rooms, God showed Ezekiel the two rooms on the north side. God then showed the two rooms on the south side. God also outlined the tasks for the priestess who were to reside in these dedicated rooms. The priestess were therefore expected to serve God all the more. Second point, God gave Ezekiel the vision of the restored Jerusalem temple with all the details. Next, God showed Ezekiel the areas around the outer area. The newly restored Jerusalem temple was 500 cubits long and 500 cubits wide to separate the holy from the common. Third point, Ezekiel during God's vision, saw the glory of God, leave the Jerusalem temple, and then return again. In one of his previous visions, Ezekiel saw God's glory, leave the Jerusalem temple. The holy place, the tabernacle, was for the Israel nation, and it was where God's presence dwelt. As such, God wanted to meet with his people in the holy place. But for the first 70 years, God's presence had left them. However, although God's presence no longer rested in Jerusalem, God dwelled among the people in Babylon. But through Ezekiel, God showed that he would once again be present in the newly restored temple. As God dwelled with Moses, David, and Solomon, he promised to dwell again with the people in Jerusalem. Ezekiel was able to see this through God's vision. God declared that he would once again be with the people in the temple. Later on, St. John saw Jesus during a vision. Fourth point, God told Ezekiel to tell the people of South Judah that if they no longer worship the idols, then he would dwell with them always. God promised Ezekiel, that he would once again dwell among the Israelites. God declared that in the newly restored temple, where the people no longer worshipped idols, he would dwell forever. As such, God outlined how he would restore Israel. In other words, Israel would be restored from their idol worship and their lies. God moreover declared that he would restore his relationship with the people as well as his laws. God wanted the people who are currently in Babylon as captives to live sincerely before God as he would in time restore them. Fifth point, God told Ezekiel to show the plans of the restored Jerusalem temple to the people of South Judah and furthermore to be ashamed of their sins. God gave Ezekiel the vision and design of the new Jerusalem temple and then told him to tell the people of South Judah to repent. This was with the intention to make the people have the heart to restudy the laws and content 
of a kingdom of priests and for them to ultimately restore themselves as a holy people. God then gave the laws to the people with the vision of their new temple. This was like the new covenant God gave to Jeremiah. Ezekiel chapters 44 to 46 detailed the information concerning offerings to God in the new temple. The first part explained the altar for the offering. In order to make an offering to God, a priest, the offering person, and the offering was required. God gave details regarding the shape and size of the altar. God also gave further details regarding how to make the offering. But the most surprising thing is that despite giving all these procedures, Jesus later came and sacrificed his own blood for our sins to make it a one-way system to salvation. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.